Hey, what's up guys? It is a beautiful day outside. Uh, we didn't have internet for the last like 16 hours or so. So that was interesting, but um, finally got the internet back up. So I'm recording some videos for you. And I went to Google to get some ideas about what are people looking up when it comes to print on demand. So I went to Google, typed in print on demand. And one of the questions that stuck out to me was, is print on demand free? Now, the short answer is yes, print on demand is free, but there is a caveat as you would expect, and I'm gonna explain the different scenarios with print on demand and the extent to which they are truly free. Now, we'll start at the top. The most ideal scenarios for print on demand and you having absolutely zero risk from a monetary sense, because obviously you're gonna to have to invest some time and if your time is money, well then, if you're investing time, is it really free? Not really, right? Because with print, on, by the way, with print on demand, your time is now money. If you've ever sat around wondering like, you know, I'm hungry today. I got that fire inside of me. I wanna make some money. What can I do to make money? Well, now that you know about print on demand, there's no excuses. You know how to make your own money. So your time is money. And while print on demand in most cases doesn't actually require you to pay any money, you pay with time. Right, so in a roundabout way, it is, you know, whatever. It isn't free in that sense if you have to invest your time, but uh, you could always outsource too, so I guess there's that. But let's start at the top. The print-on-demand methods of making money without spending any. I don't see how we uh, don't put right at the top Merch by Amazon, a print-on-demand opportunity that allows you to sell prime-eligible print-on-demand products on the world's largest e-commerce marketplace, actually seven of them, I believe it's seven, right? Um, Merch.com and then I think it's six international ones. If it's not six, it's five. No, it's six, yeah. So you can sell on seven Amazon international markets, including the United States, depending on where you live, it might be international. And it is 100% zero money down. You never have to put a credit card on file. When you make a sale, you get paid a royalty and they do not bill you. Okay, that's probably if you're Googling or looking up is print on demand free, this is probably more or less the opportunity that you were hoping to find. Because I'm assuming you don't want to put a credit card on file. And I get, I get that, I get that. Uh, the next one you should be aware of is probably Redbubble. Uh, it's another top tier opportunity. It doesn't, it's not in the same class as Merch by Amazon because you're not selling on Amazon, the world's number one e-commerce marketplace. But Redbubble's up there in its own right in that you can make money selling print-on-demand products, a wide variety of them, by the way. All you really need to do is upload designs to both Merch by Amazon and Redbubble, uh, and then you just kind of enable different products where your design can be purchased on them, and you outsource automatically. You don't, you don't have to manually outsource. It's outsourced for you. Fulfillment, shipping, returns, customer service, so basically you just focus on uploading top quality, uh, top tier designs that are well researched. You do need to provide some SEO, some search engine optimizations, you know, title, descriptions, etc., cetera, uh, in order to assist the algorithm in putting your products in front of the right people. But besides that, you get paid something for nothing in a monetary sense. Now there are other approaches to print on demand where you don't necessarily pay to play, but following a sale, you need to outsource to a company that they create the product that you sold, pack it, ship it off to your customer, and that company, these companies in general, because there, there are a bunch of them, uh, namely like the big ones, Printful, Printify, um, Gearbubble's big, Guten's big, just to name a few. I'll drop a link to Printful, by the way, which is my recommended one. But these companies, I call them print-on-demand production partners. They exist solely to make our lives easier. So if we sell a t-shirt with a design on it and we don't own the machine at our house and we don't have a massive warehouse with all the different t-shirt colors and size combinations, we can say, hey, Printful, can you grab this shirt in this size and this color and add this design and ship it to this address? And they say, sure, it's gonna cost you this much. So we pay them and our customer gets the product. And as long as we charge the customer more than we paid Printful, plus typically there's marketplace uh, fees. Like if you saw on Amazon, you're gonna pay you know roughly 17-ish percent uh, from what the customer paid you. Whatever's left, that is your profit margin. Now, is that considered free in the context of is print on demand 
free. You got to kind of be the judge, right? Because you've locked in your profit as long as you priced in a profit when your customer paid you first and you pay Printful or whatever company you outsource to second. So in theory, you should already be profitable. However, will the money from the customer hit your bank account before you have to pay Printful? No. All right, but you can also keep a credit card on file with Printful, which is what I recommend. I also recommend using the Printful wallet is what they call it. And you can set up so that they bill you in higher increments. So I typically let them bill me in $100 at a time. That way I don't get a bunch of charges against my credit card because I typically do make, um, you know, 10 plus minimum sales in a day. So that'll avoid any credit card transaction fee issues. Now, there is a third at least a one that I can think of time where it is a little bit pay to play with print on demand. And that is if you're going to sell on places like Amazon Seller Central. Now you're like, what's the difference between Seller Central and Amazon Merch? Well, Amazon Merch is something that came after Seller Central. It's a very restricted portal that exists only for print on demand sellers. And it's actually invite only. And if you don't follow the rules, they'll kick you off the platform, right? So you're gonna lose a huge opportunity if you don't follow the rules. Seller Central, it's got plenty of rules, but Seller Central was the, it was, it was invented for sellers to be able to post products on Amazon's catalog. So you can sell lots of different products through Seller Central, whereas Merch by Amazon, you can only sell those print on demand products. Now with Seller Central to sell print on demand products, it is highly, 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 highly recommended to pay for a professional seller account, which costs about $40 a month. Without that, you're gonna to need to, use, to provide your own UPC codes for each product you list. To me, that's not really viable. Uh, not for print on demand. They're, they're way too expensive. So you're gonna want that UP, the, the GTIN exemption, which removes the requirement for UPC codes, which means you're gonna to need to pay Amazon $40 a month. Now, can you do print on demand in general without doing Seller Central? Yes. So you can avoid incurring the $40 a month fee. But I highly recommend doing Seller Central because I have a saying, the more online real estate you occupy, the more money you can expect to make. So it's basically like saying, hey, the more things you've got for sale on, in more places you've, you've got it for sale, the more money you'll likely make. Does anybody wanna argue against that logic? Like, I don't think anybody ever has, right? So you wanna be on Amazon Seller Central, which lets you list products on the world's number one e-commerce destination, right? Now, in that case, you are paying to play and you're selling print-on-demand products in this context so in that case, it wouldn't be free, right? But we, before we even got there, we talked about a couple other opportunities that are absolutely free. And then you have the variable free where you kind of outsource the work to Printful or Printify and uh, they fulfill it for you, but you've already priced in your profit. So there's that. I guess before I wrap up, I would say websites like Etsy that you should also be on, they may have a listing fee associated with getting started uh, well, not getting started, but I was going to say, when you get started, actually, if you use somebody else's invite link, you can get, uh, I think it's like 40 free listings, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's 40 free listings. Um, so that's a pretty nice value that you get absolutely for free. I can put an invite code in the description in case anybody that's not on Etsy wants to just click that and get the free listings. But if you don't have the free listings, it's like 20 cents per listing per quarter. So in a year, you'd pay 80 cents for a listing on Etsy. And then every time it sells you pay the renewal fee again. They call it renewal fee. Uh, and that's, again, it's 20 cents. So there is that. It is you know, possible to incur some fees while starting your print on demand business, but do you have to? No, you don't. And then I'd not be telling the full story if I didn't just mention that with selling anything online, not just print on demand, you always have the choice of advertising. And if we understand the customer journey to a sale, part of that journey whether they buy from you or me or somebody else, is that they must know our products exist. And one way to help ensure increased likelihood of visibility on our products, because right, our end goal is to make sales, is to advertise. And unless you guys are aware of something I'm not, I don't know of anywhere we can advertise for free. Everywhere that I've ever heard of advertising, whether it's print on demand or whatever else, you have to pay. Uh, different marketplaces have different fees. Like with eBay, you only pay if it converts, but you bid a percentage of the overall cost of the product. With Amazon, you pay per click. Uh, with Google, you pay per click or per thousand impressions. So there's lots of different fee structures for advertising. It is kind of interesting how they all work together. 
Uh, Etsy's even got like a kind of more complicated one. So yeah, so that's always on the table as an option too that could potentially cost you money. Of course, it's never required. So I did just want to throw that in there. But anyways, guys, as I wrap up, I did want to remind you that I run a free weekly print-on-demand giveaway. You can find a link in the description. Please take advantage of that. In addition to the sponsors, Merch Titans, Merch Ninja, uh, All Sunsets, and Bubble Scout, I'm also, this week, because it's giveaway number 50, giving away two enrollments, one to each of the winners, uh, to any of my, print, uh, well, I was gonna say print on demand, any of my passive income courses on my Ryan's Method Passive Income School where I teach my complimentary approach to e-commerce that freed me from working a nine to five job. However, I do still keep my second job uh, teaching web development at the college level. Uh, so that's it guys, yeah, take advantage of the giveaway. Also, I've got a free print on demand mini course in the description. All I need is your email address and I'll send you one lesson a day for eight days. And I have a full print on demand course, of course, at ryansmethod.com. If you wanna check that out, I show you how I make six figure print on demand sales every single year. All right, we got through the business. Thank you for watching till the end, guys. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.